Hello, hello. I'm back. Let me know when you come on. Make sure to say hello. I'm Teresa with Teresa Renee Art. Thank you for being here. If you're watching the replay, make sure to type in hashtag replay. We're going to finish up our tea box from earlier today. Um, if you're watching on um, Decoupage and Mixed Media Inspirations, make sure to give uh, StreamYard permission for me to see your name. And you do that by going to StreamYard.com forward slash Facebook. I do have a couple of Facebook users. So we've got a few people saying hello that I can't see, but I can see Tracy. Hello, Tracy. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Madonna. Hello, Mel. How are you? You ready to go to Wonderland? Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's go back to Wonderland today. We got a good, a pretty good start this morning um, or this afternoon. Hi, Sue. It has been a busy day. My daughter came home, home early. She wasn't feeling well today. Um, she actually came home early. I just gave her a COVID test and she's, um, she's okay. She doesn't have COVID. So uh, anyway, good. I'm glad you like Alice in Wonderland. I do too. So I am um, excited. We we did a, we made a lot of progress today uh, over on the Pentart page, but we're going to do some finishing touches. And I still, I haven't really decided. I know we were debating over there whether or not we were going to do two Alice's in the mid middle. And I think you guys, a couple of people were telling me not to do that. I think y'all convinced me. So um, I'm going to turn my screen down. And... Um, couple people were <laughs> were not we originally had Alice again in the middle but I think I think because we painted her detailed here you know if it was all just one color like bronze or something I think it would be okay but because we painted her detailed here and here I just I agree with you now I don't think that that works so I think we're gonna leave her we're gonna I think we're gonna do it like this so somebody suggested it might have been Sue Someone suggested putting the clock in the middle. And I like that because then I think it also sort of balances out the clock that's going to be in the front. Yep. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So since we do have the detailed in the middle and then you have like, it sort of balances it out too because you have the, um, the bunny and then the Alice. So I'm okay with this. I think this is, a be I think this is better. Yeah. So we're going to continue on with this. We have a little bit of a glare coming um, from the gold. We did a lot of gold. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to actually, we're going to do a little bit more detail on her eye. I do have my glasses this time. Um, so I'm going to get my tiny, tiny little brush. I have my detail brush. And... Um, and we're gonna we're gonna try to paint her um, her eye a little bit. Hi, Annette. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Just letting you know I'm done. All right. Awesome. Thank you. All right. So we're just gonna get a little bit of detail in her eye. Paint those whites in. And then we're going to do a little bit of pink on her lips. This pink might be a little too light, but we can mix it with a little red. And actually, you know what we need to do first is we need to paint her. We need to give her another coat of compact powder um, for her face. So it's, the skin tone is a little bit more even. So thank you guys for being here. Really appreciate the support. Uh, make sure you join me over on Monday over on the Deck Posh Queen page. We're going to be releasing, showing you our spring papers, you guys. They have shipped to our retailers and they are fabulous. So very, very excited, of course, for that. Uh, if you if you um, look at there's a post on my page you can watch that will give you some super sneaky behind the scenes sneak peeks. So if you're interested in sneak peeks, 
go take a look at that. Hello, Lori. Hello, Cindy. Hi, hi, Tina. How are you? Hope you guys are doing great. Thank you for joining me. Um, we're just going to give her a little bit of pink on her lips. And like I say, I do have my, I do have my, um, glasses on where I can actually see what I'm doing now. Thankfully. So that's a good thing always. All right. And um, let's give her just a little dot of blue, like in her eyeball, maybe right there. Little dot of blue. And then we probably need to line that a little bit. But first, I want to play with her hair a little bit more because I have a couple spots that need touching up on her hair. Seeing is very important. Um, so I don't have anything posted under the exclamation point project yet on the blog. Uh, about this project since we just started her today but I will um, I'm not going to work on her like we're not going to do another live with her since today is Thursday um, next week we'll actually start something new but once we're once I'm done with her and I'm probably not even going to finish it today probably going to finish over the weekend uh, but I will update the blog and of course this piece will be available if you would like to take Alice home with you or have me ship it to you. This little uh, work of art can be yours. I don't know how much it will be, but we will list her as well. Um, and those details will be uh, posted as well. So as soon as we decide all that, I'll share. I will share the information. Um, so, uh, that's what we're doing now. Instead of waiting for an auction, we're just going ahead and listing, um, the pieces that I have as they, as they get finished and, um, you know, and that way, hopefully my, my goal is not to have to have an auction because to be honest, I mean, they're, they are necessary sometimes when you have a lot kind of built up, but to be honest, it's not my favorite thing. So I'd much rather offer them as we go. And that seems to be going well. My last three pieces have sold the same day I put them up. So that is wonderful. Okay, so let's get her hair up here in the same yellow again since we have her. Might as well, right? get that up there I don't think we need any more we don't need any face details here we don't need any more skin tone so I think she's okay the way she is um, I am gonna do a quick um, I'm gonna give her like an eyebrow or something she needs a little eyebrow thank you thank you you do Mary good I'm glad um, that's the shimmer glaze. It's a pentart. It's a shimmer glaze. You guys, I will be live tomorrow again. Um, here, we're, we are going to be doing another pentart demo. We're going to be doing moss and stone effects. And uh, that's going to be awesome. All right. So we're just going to give her a little eyebrow. I don't know how well you can see that. We're going to give her a little eyebrow. And then I'll give her a little bit of detail. Maybe a little bit of eyeliner or something. Okay. I mean, it's so tiny. I can't get super detailed, but I did want to add a little bit of definition around her eyes a little bit. 
So I think that's that's about as good as we're going to get on her face. Okay. So we're going to leave it at that. Uh, I'm, I'm going to come and I'm going to do a little bit of black on our bunny rabbit as well in his eye. And we need to give him a little white dot right there in the middle. We need to give him just a little white dot. And then Alice actually technically needs a little white dot too. Let's see if we can get it without covering up. There, okay. So she got a little white dot too. All right, so we're gonna get to gluing now. We're gonna go, we're gonna go ahead and glue some of this stuff down. I already glued uh, the clock face in the front. I glued that down. And you guys, we did, um, so we managed to get all of our spring papers. We managed to get those out every single order um, to our retailers. Uh, we got those out yesterday. We, we sent the last one out. So everybody should have them by Monday or very close to Monday. Um, so um, definitely watch us on Monday at noon over on Decoupage Queen for spring. Um, Hold on, I want to show you guys something before I go too much further. I've got to show you the, uh, a goodie box that I got. I got in some happy mail from um, Dina Ray Designs. Do you guys know Dina? Uh, Dina Designs by Dina, I think is what her um, uh, page is. Designs by Dina, yeah, laser wood kits. So um, I ordered a couple of her wood bases for Easter. And so I was thinking, cause some of these I wanted to, um, to do some spring samples with. So maybe on Tuesday, I got maybe on Tuesday, since we are going to be revealing on Monday, maybe on Tuesday, we'll start working with the spring papers. So I got these. They're so cute. I'm not going to unwrap them all, but I do want to show you. Um, one is a bunner, a bunny Easter wagon. So there's a there's a little Easter wagon that she sells. But I was thinking what I would was going to do is instead of putting these on a wagon, I'm probably going to put them in like a tiered tray or something. Cottontail, carrot patch, and then the other one is. One of these is actually for a tiered tray. So it's a little bunny and you can paint them and decoupage them and stuff like that. Um, and then this is like a little church tag kit, which I thought was super cute. So this is from um, Dina, Designs by Dina. And I think it's designsbydina.com. So lots of cute stuff, you guys. Um, so anyway, you guys know, I love supporting other crafters. So that's from Dina Ray. All right. You received yours today, Rima. Awesome. All right. So we're going to get to gluing here. Let me take this one off. And I, you know, like I'm always a little bit hesitant when I'm gluing, um, because I want to get it, I want to get the placement just right. So I'm going to take this off for a minute. And then I'm going to try to memorize the exact placement. We're probably going to be putting this back on a lot. Um, to make sure it's exactly right. Okay. Uh, let's start with the bunny rabbit. We can start with him. We had thought about framing, like setting him up on a frame, but then we decided not to do the frame. There's a lot going on here. So, um, you know, I think we're just going to, 
it's definitely not going to be, we're not keeping it simple, but um, we're, I think we have enough, you know, in terms of all the stuff, right? So uh, one thing you can do, you can also, thank you, Sue, for sharing that link. You can also type in, if you're following, if you're watching on Teresa Renee Art, you can type in exclamation point retailers and that will take you to that same page that Sue shared. Um, let's go ahead and get this one on. This mold, this is the ferns mold from LaBlanche, you guys. I know there are still a few of these out there. This one is super fun for um, fairy houses and uh, fantasy type thing. So it was actually a perfect fern mold for this Wonderland box to give some greenery behind the flowers. The Gerbera mold is also from La Blanche. And I think that one is still, I think there's a fair number of these still out there, you guys. So um, these are really nice, um, nice kind of detail um, flora molds. All right. So I can't remember exactly where that one was. I think it was like right there. We'll put this on and see how that looks. Yeah, I think that's about right. Maybe come up a little bit. Okay. Thank you for sharing uh, Dina's link. I know she works hard at what she does and she makes some really cute stuff, very unique um, MDF. So, okay. And we do have, I know a lot of people were asking about our church kits. We do have some church kits coming back in stock. All right. Okay, so let's get this guy down. Hello. Hello. It was negative. Thank you. You're welcome. I doubt it, honey. All right. So I'm going to set this back on just to make sure. You know, I don't want to make any mistakes here. And then I want to actually bring a little bit more, this one a little bit further out. There we go. I, I like that. So I'm going to have to put it back on once I lay it back down. But. This mold is awesome. This is the Gerbera from La Blanche, like I was saying. Um, and this one, along with, this one was last spring's mold, by the way. And it sold out so fast. We actually did end up ordering some more. Um, we brought it back for a, for a um, second round. I don't know where this was. I think that's it. That's pretty well, that's pretty good right there. And then I wanted this piece to come out right there. Anybody doing anything fun this weekend? So I'm going to stick that there. This is uh, this one is actually part of the redesign um, Alice in Wonderland mold. So they all sort of really go well together, even though. So I have three different companies represented here on their molds. Uh, and they all like just it's like they were made for each other. 
And I love it when that happens, you know. Babysitting. The flower mold is called um, Gerbera, and it's by LaBlanche. So I don't know if any of you, any of you, uh, my retailers who are on, if you have that Gerbera mold, if you can share your link with Mel. Um, we are actually sold out of it, Mel. But I know that some of our retailers do actually still have it. Actually, we might not be sold out of it. So I think if they, if any of you who are watching are on and you want to get it, you can still. Um, all right. So I am going to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this guy down. It's going to be, it's going to need to be kind of thick with heavy body gel to get him down. Rima has it. Rima has the Gerbera mold. Awesome. Thank you, Rima. All right, so I want to get that one down kind of thick. And I need to sort of lay him catty corner. Um, reason being is because if I try to do him upright, he bumps into Alice too much. And I'd rather him bump into this flower over here than Alice. Okay, what we're going to do now, um, because we have a little bit of an um, unevenness problem because this mold here is the highest and this mold here is flatter and I'm trying to set this down and what's happening is it's kind of tipping a little bit as I'm setting it down. So I want to level it out a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some corrugated paper and I'm actually going to cut this and kind of layer it underneath so that I can try to get it somewhat level. So um, I'm going to go ahead and I also need more surface area for um, for it to stick to. So we're going to just start laying some of this down and trying to kind of build up a little bit of a base for it to stick to. Um, I need something here. Let's see. And then we'll let heavy body gel do the rest of the work. Oh, Dina, that's awesome. Dina has this. So you guys remember the Church of the Winter Rose that we did? Uh, Dina has that church kit in stock, you guys. We have sold out of it really fast, but she has it. So Dina always has. Um, I think she hides it away or something. She's got good stuff. Dina, did you get your papers? Did you get your order in? Hi, Sandy. How are you? I wrote you a special note on your order sheet. All right, so I'm going to come up. I'm just going to come up one more level. Um, here. And then I think I'm going to come up one more level here. You need to clean up after doing paint pouring. Oh, how did it go, Rima? I saw you were doing it, but I didn't get to see your, I didn't get to see it live. I was wondering how it went. All right. You have a super secret stash. Okay, well, I wrote you a note on your, um, on your order sheet. So don't. It's probably the same note I wrote you last pre-order. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to just come up one more level here and give this a little bit of, whew, a little bit of uh, padding. All right. Awesome. Okay. 
So I have a nice structure, like kind of base for this to stick down to now. So I'm gonna go ahead and slather this thing with heavy body gel. And it's okay if it's a little thick as I can wipe up the edges. And then I can sort of force it this way since it's a little thicker, I can force it like level where I want it. You know what I'm saying? Like press it down more in one area and less in another. So it's not lopsided. lopsided. So I got a lot on there. Yes, I do. But I have a lot of surface area to cover. Okay, so I'm going to stick that down. And we're going to stick that down. And that padding underneath is helping quite a bit to, to balance it out. And it looks pretty good. It doesn't look lopsided. So, hey, Trees, how are you? Yeah, so Alice in Wonderland. All right, so there we go. That's that. Um, I do need to do some things now. Uh, I need to, I need to come in and start working with some waxes, you guys. Um, so I need to, and I need to do a little bit of dry brushing around the sides to sort of blend in some and kind of create more of an enclosed vignette scene. I was thinking about doing mold borders around the side, but I've decided against that because we have a lot of molds on this already. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use, this is um, earthy brown. And actually, I'm going to use black, I think. I'm going to use black paint. And I'm going to come in, I'm going to do a little bit of dry brushing around the sides to sort of frame it in a little bit. And I have another black that's not so pasty. Let's see. This is pretty color, sparkling brass. I'm gonna use that too. This is the sparkling brass color. So I wanna just come in um, around the sides and sort of soften these edges or distress the edges a little bit. And that's going to kind of marry the um, seams together. And it's also going to give us kind of frame in the whole look. And I actually decided on the color I'm using here is um, sparkling brass mixed with black. So that's what I'm using. I like the sparkling brass color a lot. It's like, it's almost like a deep eggplant color. And so that's kind of, there's some white where the paper on one side ends. And that is cleaning that up really nicely. Hi, Patricia. How are you? So, and we can, we can, you know, we're going to start small. You can always add, but you can't necessarily take away if you add too much. So we're going to get fairly dramatic here with this edge. And this is really in lieu of 
doing a border because I don't want to do any kind of more. I don't want to put any more molds on this, you guys. So it's just giving it like a smoky, distressed edge. Uh, I'm channeling my friend Aveta here. This is definitely one of her techniques. And why not? Because this is her paper too. I have two of her papers on here. So we are going to be doing a fair amount of dry brushing to finish this off. And I don't have paper on the back yet, um, but I will do that off camera so we can get this one finished. So it's just kind of aging it back a little bit. And then we'll come actually, we'll actually come in and do a little bit of that inside the design as well. Happy birthday, trees. <laughs> yeah, she's one of my favorite people, you guys. If you don't, if you don't know, um, so we so Terry, Lightsey, and Nancy and Aveta, they all work for Decapage Queen. And um, you know, I just I love those girls so much. We have the best time. Um, Aveta and I have been together since the very beginning of Decapage Queen. She was on our very first design team. And she's just been a major part of this for so long. And I honestly, I, I don't think that I could do it without her because I would, I have to say if, Aveta ever told me she was moving on. I think I think we would all just have to part in peace because <laughs> I really could not do it without her. Um, she just keeps me organized. She tells me if something's a bad idea, and that's that's you know what? Look, that's what I really love about. Our team is that I don't have like you know people who are just agreeing with me like they really tell me what they think and I love that okay so we're coming in a little bit here I'm going to take this all the way in so see how it sort of just frames frames it out nicely. And very nice. Okay. All right, now we're going to do, we need some contrast here on the clock. We need something different. Okay. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm dropping paint bottles everywhere. This one is good. This one has to go. This one is done. All right. So I'm thinking we need to probably put like silver wax here uh, or even dry brush it white. I'm not sure. Let's look at silver and see. Let 
maybe white gold. Because we don't really have any silver. Maybe some white gold. She really is. Thank you, Jamie. All right, I'm going to do white gold first, and then I'm going to do silver. Because I just want to brighten up this clock a little bit and make it sort of stand out from the background. Um, let's do a little silver. There we go. That's nice. Now it sort of looks tarnished a little bit. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to come in with, um, this is the brass antique paste. And I'm going to put that on the flowers. And so let's do the brass antique paste. And let's put that on the flowers just to, and the leaves to highlight them a little bit, but not too crazy, just to give them a little bit of drama. I can do it on here too. Can you guys see okay? All right. I want some there. I'm gonna put a little bit of brass down here. Or maybe put a little bit on her. So I got a little bit of brass there. I'm gonna do a little bit of brass over here. And a little bit over here. And a little bit in here. That one still wants to slide around some. I'll have to come back in once it's fully dry. All right. Now I want to take a little bit of silver on this clock and highlight that a little bit. All right, next on these guys, I'm going to actually take a little bit of um, white and go over the top of these guys. If I can find it, let's see, where's that light go? I want some light. I have a white antique paste, you guys, that would be very pretty on there. It doesn't want to, it's hidden. It doesn't want to show up for me. Let's look again. It's sparkling. I don't want sparkling. Nope. It's not showing up for me. I don't know where it is. My white. I made the mistake of cleaning everything off my table this morning. So I tell you what, we're just gonna dry brush it just a touch with some white paint. That will also do in a pinch. All right, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of white paint and I'm gonna just age back my Alice 
and my um, bunny just a touch with a little white paint. Thank you. I'm actually going to do the same here with her and him here. Okay. And we're just kind of highlighting here a little bit. And you can do that randomly in other spots as well. If there are some things that you want to stand out a little bit. And it does sort of age it just a little bit. Don't have to do it everywhere, just a little bit. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some antiquing gel. And we're going to, not antiquing gel, um, Umbra antique paste. And we're going to um, play with the contrast a little bit. You guys should know this trick by now if you've been watching me for a while. So everybody should know this trick. I'm going to get, um, so with antique paste, you have to clean it. You have to clean your brush with a solvent based like turpentine, but I cannot stand the smell of turpentine. So whenever I use this, I, I tend to just use a throwaway brush that I don't care about you guys. Um, it is not environmentally friendly. So if that is a problem for you, then please clean your brush correctly. This stuff is hard to, it is hard to clean. Um, you know, I'm generally very good about repurposing my items and not throwing away things unnecessarily, but I just can't do the turpentine smell. So what we're doing is we're just adding some shadow around some spots that we think we want to stand out. So like underneath this frame and maybe around this Alice. So we're adding a little bit of brown to sort of bring out um, the details surrounding some of the molds that we've added. Yeah, I get a migraine. I mean, like my daughter brought home, um, she had picked some daffodils in the school garden or in the school field or whatever. And she brought them home and I, I, made, I had to make her throw them out because I was starting to not be able to breathe. And so very sensitive to stuff. All right. So we have some spots that are that are just sort of aging. Aging back. Um, I think we could probably age back this frame a little bit around the clock so that the clock stands out more. And then this drink me bottle. So anywhere that you want there to be a little bit more 
contrast because that gold is pretty bright and it's competing a little bit with our design. So this is just sort of helping our design to pop out a little bit more. So anywhere else that you think we need a little bit more? And we've already done a fair amount of distressing already with the paint along the side. So we can even come in and sort of add to that some. They make it look sort of, it look, kind of looks like tea stain almost like, like a, like a legitimate tea box maybe. Hey Donna, how are you? So we ventured to Wonderland today and You know, I'm not all, I'm not like, I'm not a necessarily, you're not going to see me do a, a ton of Alice in Wonderland projects, but something like this is one I have been pondering for a while since I've, since I got my hands on these molds. You can still get these Prima molds. They're still around. It's this, um, it's the Alice in Wonderland Prima mold. And then... All the other molds are from um, La Blanche and Zuri. This one in the middle is from Zuri. All right. Anybody see anything they want me to fix? It's hard for me to see it from this viewpoint. Um, so I, I'm, and I don't want to tilt it. So if there's any areas that I need to get, by all means. Tell me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So it's got a lot going on. Um, yeah, so these molds back here, this one here, these are uh, La Blanche. This is the Gerbera mold. And then the Zuri mold is just this one here in the middle. Hey, Robin. How are you? Thank you guys. I'm pretty pleased. Like, I think we came up with a pretty nice layout. Um, I do need to paint her band. I'm going to paint her hair band here. I'm going to do that in black, I think. Let me paint her band real fast. And let's see. Tiny brushes. I need my tiny brushes. I think I can do this one. So there's her headband. All right. And we give this guy a little more eye detail. What else do you think we need? Maybe a bit at the top of the big Alice, okay? Let's put a little bit at the top. Of the big Alice. Let's come in. Uh, we'll make that nice and shadowy behind her. I have to, I have to say this, uh, umber against this gold is really pretty. Thank you. Does that work? Is that better? Sue, where else? Maybe around his ears, his bunny ears. Now that you're, now that you said about 
the Alice, I'm thinking, let's get the bunny ears too. Yeah, I think that, yeah, that, that's, uh, that seems like it's doing the trick. That seems better. It's a really pretty color with this umber against the, um, the gold. It's really pretty, you guys. Okay. Anything else you guys think? Does that sort of make it? Yeah. I buy, you know, I just buy like the multi-packs um, on Amazon, the cheapest ones I can find, and I use them this way. Um. And then I just toss them. All right. So I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, and I and I don't mind that there's two Alice's and two rabbits. I think it's fine. Um, so what we're going to do. Uh, what I'm going to do actually off camera, because I'm 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 going to call it done for purposes of what I'm going to be able to do live. I am going to off camera. I will finish the back with the decoupage, uh, and then I will I'm going to put a little bit of um, gold wax here on the clock. Okay. Then we'll probably highlight the edges or something, maybe with a little bit of gold wax or something too. I'm not sure. Um, but that's about, I do need to actually cut this with the knife now that I've, now that it's dry. So yeah, it, that, it, the waxes and the antique paste just take it to the next level. So I want to just sort of lift it up so you can sort of get the whole picture but you get that clock in the front and look at the contrast there with the red and the brass and then we're going to have this on the side I don't think I'm going to um I don't think I'm gonna I was going to put the teapot on but I don't think I'm going to add anything else to the sides I think I'm going to leave it up leave it alone because I have this little teapot mold uh I don't think I'm going to use that I might decoupage or something on the inside, like um, Paper Designs has some really pretty Alice in Wonderland papers, so I might do something with that. But uh, other than that, I mean, I think we're, and see what I mean, like, you know, these papers are not necessarily, they're not Alice in Wonderland papers per se, but you can take any paper and with a little bit of paint and imagination and other embellishments, you can totally uh, mix and match. So that's, and I, you know, I was thinking, cause I originally just wanted to use this paper all the way around this festive stripes, but I only had one sheet of it. So I'd, I didn't have enough of it to, to go all the way around. So I had to improvise and I thought, well, this red would be absolutely gorgeous. And it's almost like, um, now I can't imagine it without that red. You know what I mean? So sometimes it's better to just roll through your limitations <laughs> and let yourself be surprised at what happens. You know, you, you don't always have to plan every single detail. And in this case, I'm glad we didn't. So there is some tearing going on as I'm cutting. 
which is fine. I can, I can certainly, you know, sand and clean that up with paint. Um, I still, again, I have a little bit of work to do. There's the top, the front of that. I have a little bit of work to do to finish, but overall I have to say I'm like super, super happy. Okay, you guys. Well, that is it for me tonight. I am going to get on the wheel. Let's get the wheel out. Uh, the winners from last week, Rima, and there was another person. I have to go back and look. I have not sent your goodies yet because I was very, very busy packing up spring orders this week. But we will get, we're going to get, there's three of them that I owe you all, you all, including tonight. So I will get those out probably tomorrow. Okay. So we have, it is, it's, it's red. It is the Bordon red metallic paint, which is the same thing that I painted the daisies in. I am going to add a little bit of wax as well to the clock in the front. I'll show you, I'll just show you briefly. I'm going to just switch my camera view here so you can see it. Sorry. Um, see if you can see the clock. It's upside down, but I want to show, show it to you what I did here. So I painted this one brass. This is brass. Um, the outer rim is actually chocolate, decor metal and chocolate. And then this is the board on. So I wanted it three different colors and sort of complementary colors from all the other things that we're kind of using. And so we'll put some wax on there. And um, we'll put some wax on there as well. All right. So let me get my wheel situated. Let me know if you have done all the things so we can put your name on the wheel thank you julie thank you guys all right so let me know and I'll start typing some names. All right, we have, let me scroll up a little bit. Okay, starting with All right, Donna. Oh, feet would be good. I saw your note, Mary. Are we putting feet on it? That would actually be cute. Um, Maddie L. All right, Julie C. Cindy G. I have... Um, Sandy H. We have Annette V. I have Mel M. I have Trace and Betty and Lori S. Mary C. And Cindy G. Brenda F, Joyce W, last call, you guys, Patricia, Lynn F, Lynn F, Maddie L, I got you, um, Lynn L, Maddie L, I got you, Miriam, Okay, you guys, anybody else? Last call. Let's bring our screen over. Last call. Add to stage. Okay. 
You're welcome. You're welcome. Cindy, you think I added you twice? Let's see. Hold on. Let me check. Cindy G. Yep. Thank you. Thank you for pointing it out. Okay. You guys ready? Jamie, you're welcome. All right. Miriam, I got you. Okay. You guys, let's do this. Let's roll. Let me roll it. Okay. Let's shuffle first. How about let's shuffle? There we go. All right. Click to spin. No. All right. Awesome. Mel, send me your details if I don't have them already. And uh, you guys, I will see you again. Actually, I'm going to see y'all. What's today? Today's Thursday, right? So I'll see you on Saturday for the Pentart uh, demo. Um, and then don't forget, as soon as I share pictures of this, probably, probably won't be tomorrow. It'll probably be Saturday. I might share them tomorrow. I don't know. But as soon as I share pictures of this, um, it will be available for sale the same day. And uh, I'll also have a write up and everything with pictures as well. So you can sort of have everything in one place on how I did it. Mondays are release. Yes. All right, you guys. Uh, well, I'll see you again Saturday. So take care and y'all have a great night. Thank you, Patricia. All right. Bye-bye, y'all.